Oh, hello, dear. Yeah, I'm on my way home now. Okay, don't forget, Brian and Ellen are coming over for dinner tonight. Yep, I remember. What time are they coming again? I don't know. Ellen said around 8-ish, so they should be here soon. <laughs> Okay, I'll be home in five minutes. Okay, see you then. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> Daniel? You know what I did the last time someone tried to take power from me? No. Shot him in the back too. Did you get the license number? Of course I did. Come on, we've got a witness to find. Brian and Ellen are already here. Brian and Ellen? Yes, silly. I just reminded you on the phone five minutes ago. Right, right. <sighs> well, come on, they're in the kitchen. There he is. Oh, hey, Brian. Elliot! How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Why don't you take a seat, sweetheart? Dinner's coming out now. Wow, Nancy, this is delicious. Well, better. I helped her. <laughs> Thanks, I tried. And you succeed. <laughs> hey, Brian. Can I talk to you in the hallway for a second? There's something I need to tell you about. It's about time. Huh? I was wondering when you were going to get that weight off your chest. Come on. Oh, honey. They'll be fine, Nancy. This needs a second to breathe. Well, tell him he's doing the dishes if he misses out on my shortcake. Hey, is um, Elliot okay? I think so. I, I think it's just something with the, his latest job. The new client is impossible. Well, Brian can relate. He was just telling me yesterday about this client. I'm not gonna believe this. What's up, buddy? Brian, I don't know where to begin. All right, well, start from the beginning. Something bad happened. Something very bad happened on my way home from work. Did you kill a deer or something? I, they, these, these three guys showed up in front of a house, and they're chasing this one guy, and and they shot him. Oh, oh God! Did they? They saw me, and they started shooting at me. Okay, listen, you're gonna be all right. There's no way they can find you. I think they might have gotten my license plates. Even so, unless they're cops, there's no way they can find you. You're sure? 
Believe me, I've handled cases like this before. Only the police and the DMV have access to license plate databases. You should be fine. Should be? Well, there's a very slim chance. If they're connected with organized crime, they may have a contact in the police. But chances are slim. Like I said, you'll be fine. Okay? Relax. If anything happens, call me, and we'll figure it out. Okay. Eddie! Harlan? Heard you were busy last night. From who? You only call me when you need me to cover something up. And who was it? Daniel. He was siphoning money away from our accounts. And you need me to keep an eye on the investigation. Relax. This one was clean. Except? Come on, Eddie. You're calling me because there's an except in your plans. Revenge to power, treason, death, payback. Run that license plate, tell me where my witness lives. I'm off to work, I'll see you later. Bye! It's six o'clock! Yeah, one of Brian's clients is suing someone and he wants to call me as a witness. Bye! Love you too. Don't tell me you forgot your keys. You know, you've been jumpy since you got home. What happened last night? Hello, Nancy. You believe I'm the cause of Elliot's demeanor? What? Let me explain. Hello? What the? He, Nancy. Oh God, no. She's okay. Nancy's fine. Of course. He doesn't want to hurt her. He doesn't want to give you a reason to go to the cops. Even if I did, he was, probably has the cops working for him too. What makes you think that- He found me, didn't he? I thought you said only the police could do that. Is this entire town corrupt? What the hell am I supposed to do? I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. You're gonna calm down and get help from the right people. I can't go to the police, goddammit! Didn't you just hear me? Get in the car. Okay, so where are we going? Before I tell you this, Elliot, you have to realize I'm still the same Brian that you've been friends with for years. Okay, where are you going with this? A few years ago, I was worried about losing my job. The economy was bad, it still is bad. So I, I borrowed money from- Brian, you didn't. I've been working for the Caruso family ever since. <sighs> the mob, really? God damn you, Brian. Listen, I'm telling you the truth. I am who you think I am. No, you're not. You're a freaking gangster. Yes, but I'm your friend first. And this is where my idea comes from protecting you. I can ask Nick Caruso to protect you. And how do I know it's not Mr. Nick Caruso who's trying to kill me? Look, Nick's been working on a big scheme lately. He's been locked in his office for days. If he would have suddenly put out a hit on someone, I would have known about it. Why? Because he would have told you to do it? No, I don't commit murder. <laughs> oh, how decent of you. We're almost there. I don't know about this, Brian. Relax. Nick can find out who you saw, and he can get them to leave you alone. No one can keep up with criminals like other criminals can. <laughs> well, you'd know, wouldn't you? Y yes, but not because I'm involved with Nick, because I'm a lawyer. So does Ellen know about this? Absolutely not. 
and you were never to tell Nancy about this. This isn't a social club. Oh, you don't say. Hey, Brian. Who's the friend? This is Elliot. I need to talk to Nick. Come on in. Second of my time. You see, people assume time is a linear progression of events, but it is possible to change it. You can move it around. I waste my time preparing today so that I have more of it tomorrow. Of course, time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. So of course, Brian, you and Elliot may have a second of my time. How did you know... Your name? Tip of the iceberg. You are Elia Acteon, you are a contractor, your wife's name is Nancy, and you live at 1345 Artemis Road. What I do not know is how I can help you. Elliot here saw a couple of gangsters murder someone yesterday. Now we think they're trying to kill him. They threaten his family? Yes. They leave a name? No. Yes, yes. Nancy said the man's name was Eddie. Why come to me? The only way... Brian, I love your enthusiasm, but I want Elliot to say this. Eddie has my address. He probably got it from the police. Brian told me you were the person I should go to. He said you could control the situation. Though to be honest... Yes? I'm just not sure if I'm digging myself into a deeper hole than I'm already in. <laughs> What's so funny? You're a landscaper. I enjoy the irony. And yes, Brian's right. I can control the situation. I control many things. I'm father of this family. I run a successful business and in a small circle of influence, I control time. I could snap my fingers, and the world around us stops. You will? Yes. And I think I can see inviting you in for a month. I'm sorry? Well, I could say I need some landscaping done around the house. But if you're joining the family, then I have no right to lie to you. W what do you mean? Economics. To protect you, I'll need to set someone out after Eddie. And I'll need someone else to fill the void until this is over. I don't know. I can promise you the jobs will be simple, easy, and whatever you make is yours. Huh? Money isn't as important to me as other things. Brotherhood, respect, those matter. Money... Ellie? One month. There we go. Worrying about time again. Yes, if it means anything, one month. Okay. Welcome, Elliot, to the family. Stopping time again? Less metaphorical. 
a toast to new brothers and long relationships. Do you do this every time you induct a new member? <laughs> yeah. Riddle me this. You can always count on me. I will never betray you. I bond people together and I last forever. What am I? Loyalty. Cheers. What have I done? I asked myself the same exact question the first time I was here. I'm very nervous, Brian. I'm not a criminal. What have I gotten myself into? Relax. Everything will be okay. Anything from Nick lately? I mean, it's been three weeks and Eddie's guys still haven't found me. You're still alive, aren't you? Relax. Nick knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I know. It's just, I'm afraid that one day when I'm not there, they're gonna sneak into my house and do something to Nancy. They have other priorities. They aren't devoting all their time to watching you. I hate to ask, but is it possible that Nick is just using me? No, no. Nick isn't like that. Honor and respect to him? They mean more than air. He'll live up to his end of the deal. Chances are he's already dealt with Eddie. He's just waiting for the right moment to tell you. I hope so. Alright, bye. See you tomorrow. Bright and early. Assassination. Are you gonna do it by yourself? I'll be damned if I send my brothers out on a job that I don't want to do. I can come back later. Of course you can. But you don't want to. I'm fine. What's on your mind? Well, it's just... It's almost been a month, and... Time again, huh? Well, it's just concerned that you might not be working on trying to stop Eddie. Do you remember the first thing I ever said to you? Yeah. I'm a man of my word. That hasn't changed. Well, Elliot will certainly be relieved. How's Elliot doing, by the way? Looking forward to the end of the month. Really? Yeah. He's less reluctant each time we work together. Hmm. Any chance of him staying on after the deadline? No. He's just doing this to protect his family. One month and he's out. Understandable. 
Have you seen my silencer? Thanks. Almost time. You know why watches are circular? Symbolic. Circles. We all move in circles. We think we're going in a straight line, but that's because we're too small to see. What goes around comes around. I know. I know you do. The trick is to see when it's coming. Eddie betrayed me years ago, but he has no idea that Elliot has just given me a legitimate reason to come full circle. He can't see it coming, but I can. Can what? I can see the patterns. I'm afraid Elliot is going to betray me. What? I've seen it before. Every time. Once his end of the month is up, he's going to refuse to work for me anymore, and then he's going to call the police and get us all arrested. Elliot would never! I can't take that risk. You're going to kill him! If he refuses? You don't just leave a family, Brian. Screw you and your damn family! If this is the way you operate, I want no part of it. Did you not hear what I just said? Oh, I heard you. Now you hear me. I'm gone. The bird's flown the nest. And you know what? I'm taking Elliot with me. You know what else? I might as well tip off Eddie about your plan. I know who his contact is in the police force, and I could get a message to him very easily. Don't you have anything to say? What? I'm thinking about the riddle. Not this BS again. I know it's loyalty. Is it? Yes. You can always count on me. I will never betray you. I bond people together and I last forever. What am I? What are you doing on Brian's phone? Come over to the house now. I have something I can't discuss over the phone. But this is Brian's phone. Okay, I can't discuss it over Brian's phone. Come over to the house. I'll explain everything when you get here. Okay. Oh God! No! What the hell happened? Last night, Brian volunteered to stake out Eddie's house. Why? We've had someone watching Eddie since you arrived. What? I know it didn't seem that way sometimes, but we've had a member on him day and night. Last night, Brian volunteered. <coughs> you found him on our doorstep this morning. Brian's my best friend. I know. And we will get revenge, for you and for him. For that I promise you. How can I- I'm a man of my word. I've never lied to you and I'm not going to start now. We will get him.
Well, if it isn't my favorite trainer. Glad to see you too, Nikki. You made a bad choice in coming here, Eddie. Well, I had to. Rivalry and all that. Surprised to see you've turned to do a threat over the years. Men are dying for you. And yours are dying for money. At least my brothers believe in something. Brothers? Nikki, don't tell me after all this time you're still believing in that family crap. Your goddamn love of others makes you weak. Christ, why do you think I shot you in the back? Turns to complete his crime. That's right. Walk back upstairs. Only one step away from moving in. Save their bullets. The shots will be far more effective if they stay in the chamber. I'm not with your soul. Go home! Come out of this grave you're digging for yourself. Go ahead then. If you really want to die, pull the trigger. Pull it! Just like them now anyway. Just like them now anyway. Dead man's advice, Elliot. Stop digging. Nancy, are you all right? Elliot, what is going on? Okay. I probably should have told you earlier, but... I can't believe it. You wouldn't even think to call the police? Nancy, I was scared and I didn't know what to do. So I decided to ask Brian for his advice. Well, now you're gonna take my advice. Call the police. What for? Eddie's dead. Our problems are over. What about Nick? What about him? He's still out there! So? Nick saved my life. I trust him. Do you hear yourself? You trust a gangster! Alright. I'll call the police. This is he. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Alright, goodbye. Thank you so much. Well? It was the police. And? They got him. All of them. 
Thank God. It's over. Good. Now, can we go back to our old lives? Sure. Where do we start? Do you want to watch a movie tonight? Sure. I'll make popcorn. I'll go find a DVD. to my riddle. Loyalty. What goes around, comes around. But you're here to kill you. You betrayed me, Elliot. After all I did for you. I didn't expect to be killing two traitors today. Oh, come on! We have to do this the hard way. Funny. You want to kill me, Elliot? You're gonna have to look me in the face while you do it. That's the only honorable way to kill. What you did with Eddie? Uh... I kept on digging the hole, deeper and deeper, looking for the treasure. Till finally, I lifted my head and realized I had dug the hole to my own grave. Sound familiar? But you're not going to kill me, are you, Elliot? You're not a killer. I killed Eddie. Oh my god! Now it's over. Over? What are you talking about? What are you gonna do now? 